Hi you all, well just back from the shops and of course the way things are now with the economic situation and inflation out of control we've just got to chase around and find as many specials as we can but anyways please do stay tuned and I'll be back after these few short messages Hi you all well, thank you so much for watching my little video and of course a big appreciation to all who watch my videos through to the very end. A big part of this channel is this creek and I absolutely love the outdoors and love this creek so if you'd like to see more of this, please stay tuned. I like to get outdoors of course and just to take in nature and to do some hikes of course, someday I would love to get out and do some camping and some bushcraft and some other outdoor content. But it's not just about cooking and I do love to get out of the kitchen and experience nature with hiking and the outdoors as well as some animal photos and videos and all sorts of different things like that. Also product reviews, unboxings, live streams and much, much more. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I'll ask you to please subscribe to my channel and smash that little bell and choose all alerts so that you get alerts for all my videos. And of course, that would be much, much, much appreciated. Recently, I did get a new camera, so just about everything now is filmed with that, so hopefully the um, sound quality and video quality is much, much better. I'll ask you, please do check out my merchandise store, which is situated on Teespring. Also, please do check out the links down below. I do have a um, link to my Amazon wish list, as well as a donation link. But of course, to subscribe to my channel is free. I am also offering memberships to my channel, and memberships start at two bucks US per month. And of course, that would be much, much, much appreciated if I could get a few members there. Anyways, please stay tuned and watch the rest of my little video and enjoy. Okay, so just now to go through some of the bargains that I found while I was down at the shops and hopefully you should find this all interesting. Um, I got here, I went to St. Benny's, their um, thrift store or Goodwill store and I found here this lovely handbag for four dollars. I don't know what brand it is but it looks like it should be Quite a good one and quite useful. Uh, Chelsea's it says, hand painted bag. So that's wonderful and should be really great. And also, since I broke the inside of my coffee percolator, down at St. Britty's I found this coffee maker here, a coffee percolator, which is electric, and it was $10. So I thought, well, for $10 I can't really go wrong. So, um, of course, I'm going to wash it out and um, I'll come back a bit later and we'll have a bit of a um, test drive of this one and make ourselves a coffee and just see how it works. So of course moving right along, I went to Henry's Mercato fruit and vegetable shop and of course they had these mandarins on special and they were only one dollar a kilo or that's about 40 cents a pound. So I bought a big heap of those, two kilos of those, so two dollars there. Now to find some um, receipts just so that I can um, go through the rest of the prices here. Okay, we'll move on to Mrs. Wan's Asian Mart. I definitely, I wanted some coffee to try this out. And of course I got some Trung Yuan 
creative number four ground coffee and this is Vietnamese coffee and it's really quite delicious and that was seven dollars thirty and now we'll move along to Aldi so from Aldi I got um, one multi-grain bread 650 grams and that was $1.99 I remember when this used to be $1.50 not that long ago uh, we got some chalk chip cookies $1.99 and I just try and find a waiter on this. Oh, one pound in weight. And I do love my choc chip cookies. So um, my cookie jar is about empty. So I thought I'd better get some of those. Uh, mouthwash one litre. So that's a quart. Of course, we all need this. And that one was $4.29. A peanut butter American style from Aldi also uh, 500 grams so a little bit over a pound for three dollars 49 and this one's about my favorite peanut butter unless I get hold of the Skippy brand or the Jif brand are also quite good as well Um, strawberry jam, 500 grams, so a little bit over a pound for $1.99. And not that long ago, it used to be a little more than a dollar. And of course, while walking around there, I needed a drink. So I just got a can of Flying Power. That's their energy drink. 99% sugar free. And that was 79 cents. So total price from Aldi, $14.54. And of course, I will put a total at the end of this video. Okay, moving along to Coles. We have Eater Sauce Barbecue. And that's 375 mils. So we're looking at about... Um, 10 ounces there I believe and that was two dollars and that was on special one dollar off the normal price Coles copy whitener 500 grams so a little bit over a pound three dollars twenty and of course this is the supermarket brand of copy mate and Copy Mate sells for four dollars if you're lucky. LA Ice Soft Drink, two liters, so half a gallon each one, and they were a dollar thirty-five each, so fifty cents off. And of course, a um, dollar fifty used to be the normal price not that long ago, but they've gone up in the last couple of months to a dollar eighty five so of course if I can get them on special for a dollar thirty five that's okay Coles hamburger rolls six pack two dollars fifty And of course I'm going to cook up some eggs and bacon a little bit later so I'll be using those when I make my egg and bacon rolls. Coles garlic powder 60 grams $2.40. We all need some garlic powder and of course I'll be using that a bit later on when I make some garlic butter. And then I went to Woolworths, um, Dorsogna streak, a Streaky Bacon, $18 a kilo, so about $8.50 a pound. And this is 
0.276 of a kilo so you're looking at about um, two thirds of a pound there $4.97 And maple glazed streaky bacon, the same brand. 0 0.306 of a kilogram. So you're looking at about three quarters of a pound there for $5.51. So total price there, you're looking at about... Um, Ten dollars forty, I think, or something like that. But I will um, put the final price here. And oh, Ariella Blur, I forgot to put the uh, total for Coles. And total spend at Coles was two dollars, uh, twelve dollars eighty. So moving right along, um, I needed some more gas canisters for my little butane stove, and they were four dollars fifty, and I got them from Kmart. And now my favourite um, from the butchers, um, Tasman Beef, um, Tasman Butchers, Beef Yearling T-Bone Steak Bulk. And that was selling for $19.99 per kilo, which is a huge saving. It's about $10 a kilo off. So, of course, I take advantage of that when I see these. And it says T-Bone, but without the um, fillet, so... Um, I'd really just call that a New York strip or something like that, but with the bone included. And this one, 0.664 kilo, uh, total price 13.27. And of course this one, 6 70 grams, 13.39. One of these I'll be putting into the freezer, and of course the other I will be enjoying over the next couple of days because I haven't had steak for ages. And um, when YouTube's kind and you get some ad revenue, well, um, I'm going to buy some steak and take advantage of that. But anyways, we're going to um, just um, pack up here and. Um, then I'll see if I can get this copy machine to run and we'll give it a bit of a taste test sample. Oh, I'll show you this steak up close. Anyways, we'll go on to my taste test sample of my coffee. Okay, so now having washed everything out, we're going to give this a bit of a um, test out and just see how it works. And yeah, it says this is 12 cups. Well, I'm not going to try 12 cups first up. Um, I'll just try about 8 cups. That should be enough. So I'll just pour that here. Well, we've got about seven cups there, so that'll be all good. Um, could sort of soon work that out. I just sort of measured it out here just to see what we've got. And I'm going to pour that into the um, reservoir. And sit that inside there. And of course we're going to give um, Chung Yuan a go here. So just opening that one. Oh, I love the smell of this coffee. It's wonderful. And I'll just put the little filter basket in here that I washed out earlier. And I'll just add 
empty this out here and measure out enough coffee for seven cups. Be enough and shut that power on. Oh, and I think we're underway here, so um, we'll just let that um go and then um, we'll see what it's like once it's done. Oh we're certainly bubbling away nicely so that sounds rather good and of course we should have a bit of a taste test of our chocolate chip cookies of course from Aldi. <laughs> I think it does say mini ones, but anyways, they look quite okay, so hopefully they taste quite good. I'll just open my um, cookie tin up. Oh yeah, there's a good amount of cookies here in this um, packet, so that's good. I'll give you a look at that. Um, although there's quite a few broken ones here, but that doesn't matter, I guess. Oh, I'll show you the um, coffee packet. Oh, we'll just wait until everything sort of stops bubbling away here, I guess. Okay, so it does appear that the um, cycle is finished, so we'll have a bit of a taste test here. Just turn the power off. I guess that's what we do. And it will certainly be interesting just to see how this does compare to my percolator. Oh, and while I'm here, I'll just make an announcement. I have just sent off the prize for my semi-finalist in Gail's Fall Fest 22 giveaway and of course my prize winner for my semi-final was um, Cat Mama 73 and the Bed Brigade and so I've sent her a sticker from my merchandise store. So I look forward to seeing when you get that one and hopefully it won't take too long. Get of these cookies out of the way. I don't want to um, make a bloop and have cookies sort of spill everywhere. Well, it does look like it's extracted the copy nicely. It's a nice um, dark colour, so um, 
Give it some milk and of course some coffee bait and some fake sugar. And I've got to grab one of these cookies to have with it too. Oh yeah, not bad, not quite as nice as my percolator, but it's not far off, so um, that's a good thing. Yeah, these cookies are um, not quite as nice as the 40% choc chip. Um, these are only 20%. But anyways, I think they're quite nice and I'd probably give them, I don't know, about a 7.5 to an 8 out of 10, that sort of thing. Anyways, if you watched this little video through to the very end, I thank you and I appreciate you so, so much. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and smash that little bell and choose all alerts, as I could certainly do with some more followers. And please do stay tuned for more giveaways. Of course, there's one coming up soon. Christmas 22 is coming. And of course, um, this will be a big collaboration with a lot of channels, hopefully, and a giveaway just before Christmas. So I'd love to see a lot of people come in there. Anyways, um, we're going to cut it off here and call it a day. Take care. God bless. And until next time, bye-bye. start again because I think I had a blooper there. So now going to Coles, um, eat a sauce barbecue and this was on special one dollar off for two dollars. I didn't understand that. Oh go away Bixby. Dear viewer, if you love my channel and wish to support my ability to keep creating content, please consider becoming a member of my channel. As a member, badges will be displayed next to your name in live chats and on comments, and also you shall have access to exclusive content. Thank you so much. Dear viewers and fans of my channel, Ariella Viking Venturer and Victuals, if you love my channel and wish to support me, please check out my merchandise as I've recently opened a merchandise store on Teespring. Links are in the cards and the end screen as well as being included in the description of this video. Thank you! So I'll ask you all, please do watch my videos through to the very end. Please do share my videos amongst all your friends and help my channel to grow. Also in suggested videos after watching one of my videos, please click on one of my video links so that my video is suggested and helps my channel climb up higher in the search rankings. Thank you so much and I love you all. Well, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Well, let's all get outdoors more and enjoy nature and take care of our environment. May my dream of moving to America come true. May the land of the free remain forever free. God bless America.